Act Reports is automated performance testing reports. It's a reporting software tool that I've been using on my own company for years. It took me quite a long time to perfect it, and I'm really excited to have released it now to the public so that you can take advantage of it. I'm going to tell you in this uh, 20 to 30 minute tour what Act Reports does and what it does not do. And uh, hopefully you think that it's completely worth the, the cost. You're probably a home performance professional, which makes you an expert. Your time is most likely worth at least $100 an hour. So if this tool can save you four hours of work over your entire career of using it, it has paid for itself. Personally, it saves me four hours of work on every single client that I serve. So to me, it's a huge benefit as far as building my reports, having my clients get excited about what I'm telling them about and take action on it. So uh, let me tell you real quick about why I developed this. When I started my company, Green Dream Group in Chicago uh, in 2008, I uh, didn't have too many mentors that were willing to help me to start building reports. There were a few people who really volunteered their time and I got some, some good tips from them, but really there wasn't a tool that I could use to build a report. So what I did was used Microsoft Word or word processing uh, document maker to build these reports by hand every single time. So every single client would go to their house and I'd spend two to three hours on site testing all their stuff. Then I'd come back to the office and I would spend eight hours in front of a computer building reports. And I'm not in this for the desk work. Uh, I obviously would rather be in the field doing the performance testing. That's my passion. So I just wanted to be able to build reports that were number one, accurate, had all the data that I needed in them. That takes uh, some precision and some real attention to detail. And uh, word processing programs are not that great at that. In fact, the formatting alone, just making them look like each other is can get difficult. Second thing that I needed was I needed to be able to automate some of it. Um, and that is why I turned to Excel. Excel is a really popular tool for doing finances and automating charts, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but the third thing that I wanted was for them to be pretty. I want my clients to look at my reports and to think, wow, this is really sexy. Being sexy at this job is a really big thing for me, as you've uh, probably heard from me before. So I needed something that would make Excel uh, worthy automated documents, but that would not look like Excel. So what I did was I happened to have a resource in my mother who is an Excel trainer for many years. She had a company that just trained on just Excel. So we put our heads together and we developed this really excellent tool that does not look like Excel. And I'm going to show you real quick what it starts to look like. Here is the uh, beginning page. As you can see at the very top, it says your logo here. That's obviously where your logo goes. Now, I was mentioning the customization. Customization is really important to me. I don't think that we should all be putting out reports that look exactly the same. That would be bad for um, uniqueness. And that's one of the main things that I have capitalized on with my company. I hope you're doing the same. We don't compete with other energy auditing companies because what we offer is something completely different. Um, and we make sure to, to explain all of the ways that we're different. So this is your chance to customize your input report so that you're caring about the things that you care about that's more important than what your competition is doing. So uh, all of these grayed out boxes are to be filled out. And I'm going to show you the input form again in a moment. You can change all of this stuff. All of these are tied to automation features in the next couple of reports, which look like this. This is a page that was created in Excel. Most people, if they don't know how Excel can be customized, would not ever think that this was made in Excel. This looks like a word processing document. So as you can see, we've got lots of big blocks of text. And it frankly took quite a while to figure out how to do hard returns inside uh, cells. And by the way, in case you're starting to think, whoa, I, I can't do this with Excel, built into your purchase of apt reports is over two hours of training that I built painstakingly to make sure that everything about the customization of this tool is very, very clear. And since it's self-paced, you can, when you log into the training portal, once you get your login ID, when you buy the uh, apt reports, you can watch the, the video, Make sure that you pick everything up. If you didn't pick something up, you go back and you watch it again and you have access to that training portal forever. So you keep on going through there. You can comment and I'll have a conversation with me if you're, something is unclear. There's also a support webinar for it. So the, uh, the beginning stages of learning about Excel are important and I actually link you to several free videos that are um, great intros to just using Excel, learning what cells and rows and columns are and how you can start to, to manipulate them to make these beautiful looking reports. Um, 
So here's your airflow and pressure testing report. This is a fully automated report. This report that I showed you just a moment ago, the Opportunities for Improvement report, or the Recommendations report, is the most customized piece of this. Any automated report software should not automate more than like 75% tops, because you want every client to feel special. Every client's home is different, and everybody has uh, special needs and, you know, that don't say that to them, but but we want them to feel like they're unique and that we're really taking time with theirs. That's why you're going to customize this report right here. This one, as I mentioned, is totally automated. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. We don't do anything to this report. It generates itself. And what's brilliant about this. So the blower door test is here, the zonal pressure testing, which I'm really big on, how much we want to air seal, how much ventilation this house needs, etc. And again, all of these numbers are uh, customizable. So if you're in Florida and you don't want to ventilate at a minimum of ASHRAE 62.2, which would be this 55 CFM, you want to do that as a maximum, then you just change the wording around and, and that's perfect. Combustion analysis and safety testing. This is uh, using BPI standards. And I use BPI standards because it's the only real national standard that we've got for this. There are other standards and in future releases of this uh, software tool, there will be other standards if they develop. But right now, BPI is where it's at as far as the combustion analysis goes. So as you can see, you can start to change the color of the text, call out, roll, you know, safety warnings, things like that. You've got raw data that's copied from the data input page and a utility bill analysis, the last piece of the puzzle. This is a mostly automated uh, page. If you've ever done a utility bill uh, analysis inside REM design or REM rate, it's a lot less hectic than that. And it gives you a nice round number. We're not too worried, especially in existing homes, especially ones that are pre-1950. It's been shown that the energy modeling portion of that kind of stuff is, mm, it's kind of uh, sketchy. So, and, and to that point, by the way, I wanna just mention right now, one of the things that this software package does not do is energy modeling. This is not an energy modeling software. So if you're looking for something that's going to do everything all in one, you are going to sacrifice some customization for that. And there are fantastic softwares out there that will do energy modeling in addition to it, but they only have a place where you can paste in your logo. You can't start messing around with the wording and the fonts and changing the colors and adding lines and making it look real beautiful. So I use this report package in conjunction with REM and in conjunction with uh, Fluke's software for uh, infrared reporting. So here is what it looks like inside the actual software tool. So this is the first page of apt reports. As you can see here at the bottom, there are several tabs that will get you into the different reports. The first four tabs are all locked. And I do that in my own company permanently because I don't want to go in here and start messing around and accidentally hit a button that I don't mean to and cover over something. So the lock is important, and everybody who buys this gets the password to unlock uh, your copy of Apt Reports, and then you want to relock it as soon as you're done messing around in it, because that way you'll preserve the, the sanctity of your information. The tabs are fields data, airflow, and pressure testing report, and you can see this is the report that I just showed you. Here's combustion testing, utility analysis, the opportunities for improvement report. Then we have get the extra features which the client does not see. We have a library bin which I've built in here that can sort the four different types of uh, categories of improvements that I see generally, which is air seal and insulate, architectural improvements, electrical improvements, and HVAC. Mostly in my uh, experience, it's envelope and HVAC. That's most of what we're doing. So you can start to sort through all of the recommendations that you may have written in the past. And as soon as you start using this bin to store all of the blurbs that you've ever written, you spend much less time actually creating new content for clients. You want to write a nice general attic floor air sealing and insulation blurb here, or for example, I give you a couple of starting samples to work with, moisture issues, energy efficient lighting, carbon monoxide detectors, etc. And you can just copy these basically to create your own library bin. And it's in your own voice, so it's customized to you and you're not using somebody else's library items that you don't completely agree with. Um, they're region specific to you, they're company specific to your voice. Also, there's an infrared notes section. Uh, I just happen to throw this in because when I use this with an infrared software, I want to be able to put notes on the images. And frankly, it takes too long for me to type the, you know, what's going on in this picture or that picture. Generally, always, it breaks down to 
structural issues, potential drainage issues, moisture issues, air leakage, heat loss, insulation discontinuity deficiency. So I've put that in here and you can simply just grab this, copy it and paste it into your infrared software. And uh, that makes your life a little bit easier. The last piece of apt reports is a practice page where you actually get to build to uh, formulas. Formulas are the powerhouse behind apt reports, behind anything that's important in Excel, essentially. So if you start to use the formula tutorial, you can see how these formulas are built. And I take you through this step by step to show you exactly how to start building formulas to become essentially a software programmer. Now, if you're not interested in becoming a software programmer, I completely understand. I was not interested in becoming a software programmer either. But I will tell you this, if you do the work of customizing this tool, it actually really helps with business strategy as well. We use an automation tool for our company's backend for what, what's called a CRM, a client relationship management system. And uh, it requires a fair amount of strategic thinking. I need to think, well, if somebody goes to our website and downloads this thing, and then I want them to get an email about that. And I also want to get an email so that I know that they did that. And then I want to create a calendar item for me to call them, et cetera, et cetera. It's essentially exactly the same thing as programming these formulas into Excel. So if then statements, et cetera, et cetera, and you'll get a pretty thorough understanding of the subtle modifications you can make to Excel for other uses aside from app reports in the two hours of uh, included training. So again, the fields data page, anything that's gray gets filled out. And on the second page of this, you've got a big blank page for empty notes. Now, I don't take a laptop into the field with me. Uh, instead, I print out this two-page section and I fill out all the gray areas. I do that because I am clumsy. And John, who is running the, the buttons on this webinar right now, knows that I leave things around. I'll say, John, I lost my clipboard somewhere. Will you please find it while I'm talking to this homeowner? So uh, I would not be really handy with having a, a laptop in the field. But you certainly can take the laptop in the field, and it'll make your job quicker. One of the great things about this uh, software, in addition to all the automation, is that it warns you. And I want to draw your attention here. This is a one that's already been filled out with a kind of a sample client here, and we've got the address and everything. And you can see that the address populates in all of the reports now. So they all start to look exactly the same. It looks like something has just been filled out. It's a nice form that's a customized uh, reporting software. You can customize what LBL zone you're in for a climate zone. And then uh, once you start putting in information, if it disagrees with the standard that you're using, the standard that I use, again, is BPI or ResNet, up here, we've got a warnings pane. We have a fail on carbon monoxide. And as you can see, that's because I've got 29 parts per million of carbon monoxide in this water heater when I tested it. That is a fail. And there is a specific action level that's associated with that. So instead of having to remember what the action level is, memorize it, or look it up, I can simply program it into this software to say, hey, remember, you've got to recommend service be made to the homeowner and make sure that there's a carbon monoxide detector installed and provide ventilation if there's no ventilation in the bathrooms and, 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 there's all these things. So instead of having to remember, number one, when you're on site, what's going on, and number two, when you're building your report, if you're like me, you have, uh, you've spent several days not doing the report because you've been servicing other clients in the meantime then by the time you get around to writing the report for that client you don't really remember their house that well so you want to be reminded by the way this is just a little feature this extra that uh, tells you exactly what to put in certain areas so you can give this to your employees if you haven't you know taken the training uh, for them then they can safely fill this out uh, without too much training because there's there's little reminders in here. So these warnings are really important. It starts to remind you, I need to address spillage. I need to address the gas leaks. These warnings also end up inside the opportunities for improvement. To the right of every one of these live pages that will get printed out is a dead page. The dead page contains really important information for you, the reporter, but not for the client. So you can start to remind yourself that, ooh, we've got this number one problem, which you would customize to say, this is, uh, we've got attic leakage, or we've got a roof leak, or we've got uh, basement um, walls that are uninsulated, things like that. You can start to just customize instead of saying one problem, you say basement insulation needs to be fixed, or attic insulation, or et cetera, et cetera. And you can see how this starts to remind you and get your process a lot faster. The warnings here 
also are there to remind you that when you're building this report, you don't have to tab back and look at the field data again. It's going to remind you of everything you need to tell this client about. At the right of every one of these pages, you've got another one of the dead pages. You can see here we've got heating degree days. This is really important, and if you don't have the heating degree days on the utility bills that your clients give you, I give you a link right here that you can go to and download the utility bill uh, heating degree days for your particular area. Uh, obviously, you can switch around what gas companies and electric companies you're working with. Uh, everything is formatted so that if it's a dollar amount that we're talking about, it's in dollars. If it's a percentage, it's in percentages. Um, and some of the uh, one, one of the favorite things in this, and I'm talking about me and my clients, is this zonal pressure testing graph. Zonal pressure testing is obviously in Pascals, but what we generally want to talk about with clients is you don't want to say the word Pascal. You don't want to say the word zonal pressure testing. You want to say, here's how connected certain rooms in your house are to outside. And ultimately, homeowner, you want them to be either 0% outside or 100% outside. So that's the way that this is set up. And you can see here that this is breaking the zonal pressure readings that we put into our field data page at the bottom. We got a 37 pascal for the attic while the blower door is at 50. We had a 21 for the master suite, 17 for the basement. We don't really want to mess around with that. And I don't have to think about what they are because I can automate my software to do it for me. So this now can be used and replicated after work is complete to show the client that we made the crawl space from 12% outside to 0% outside or the interior wall from 40 to 10, or the attic from 74 to 100. Now, uh, it, you can use this for contracting. You could use this to build contracts with and estimates and proposals. Uh, essentially, the sky's the limit with the customization of this tool. And I hope that people take it and run with it. In fact, you don't need to buy updates for it because it's in Excel. Excel is a program that you already have on your computer. And if once you download the template, you can start to mess around with it, customize it for your own company, and then you're off and running. You have made your own updates. Uh, feel free to come back to the software uh, support webinars that I hold uh, and ask specific questions. If you're a little, a little lost on something, I happen to have the resource of an expert Excel trainer uh, on my side, and I'm happy to take questions at this point.